In this hand, I have a bottle of glass cleaner, and in this hand, I have a box of bandages. Now, some of you guys might call this Windex, and some of you guys might call these Band-Aids. But the reality is, is that those are both registered trademark brands that have gotten into our heads between a lifetime of our parents calling them certain names and really great marketing. Over the last few weeks, I've received quite a few emails from many of you guys, and I really appreciate those emails. It tells me somebody's listening. And a lot of them have questions to do with either title questions, certain cars at auction, but two words that keep being misused are rebuild and salvaged. These are two totally different things. Behind me is my 2015 Fiesta ST. It was in an accident, deemed a total loss by the insurance company, and given a salvage title. Now I took a few steps, fixed the car, filed the correct paperwork, and was issued a rebuilt title for the car. Now behind me here is my 2015 Audi S3. You see, it was also in an accident, deemed a total loss by the insurance company, and given a salvage title. You see, that's the big difference right there. My Fiesta, I'm able to go and drive it wherever I want. This car is illegal until I'm issued a rebuilt title for it. Now, I filed the paperwork for that, and this week I should be taking it in, getting a final inspection, and hopefully be issued that rebuilt title. I'll do a video very soon mimicking the inspection process to help you guys out going through the same exact thing. Now, in describing the Fiesta ST and the Audi S3, I said a lot of similar things. Both titles have a lot of similar traits. Kind of like Windex is basically glass cleaner and Band-Aids are basically bandages. But when it comes to rebuilding cars, the last thing you want is to buy one, go down to the DMV and attempt to get it registered and them to tell you, hey, you can't use this car on the road. Another big aspect is when rebuilding a car, you have to provide proof that you've actually rebuilt it. And while I'll expand on this in another video, basically you have to show before photos, tell them exactly what you replaced on it, and then bring the car in for an inspection like I'll do this week with the Audi. You see, if you buy a car that has a salvage title and can't prove that it was repaired through things like receipts and records, then you might just be stuck with a car that you have absolutely no use for. See, this is all important because I see very frequently, especially on Craigslist and eBay, when you're looking at a car that's damaged, a lot of times companies will doctor them up and make them look in really excellent shape, like nothing even happened. Kind of like dealers do at the auctions. However, these guys will leave the title salvage because it costs a lot of money and time to go in and actually get a rebuilt title issued. It's easier for them to fix the car up a little bit, leave the major structural damages hidden, sell it to an innocent person and say, hey, we got rid of it and you signed a waiver saying we're done. A lot of times when you buy a car from a dealer, they've got their paperwork in line very well and you agree to not come after them after buying it, whether it has no warranty or whether you bought a salvage as is car. So next time you're looking at a car that has either a salvage or rebuilt title, keep in mind those are two totally different things. And even sometimes the seller will have those terms mixed up. What's most important for you to do is get the actual paperwork, the title or the certificate of the car, and decide is it a salvage or is it a rebuilt title. If it's got some sort of code words on it, like an MV907 from New York, call your local DMV and ask them, what does this mean? Is this car a salvage? or is it rebuilt? If it's rebuilt, you can take it like a clean title, you can register it and be on the way. If it's a salvage, there's a lot more work to do. Guys, I'm Sam Crack. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you felt like you learned something, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please drop me a line in the comments section below. There's really a lot of exciting things ahead for this channel, and I want you guys to be a part of it. So please, make sure you're subscribed. Can't wait to see you on the next video.